Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're checking out the Blue Yeti AC70 Portable Power Station. One. So you can see right there, it's pulling 160. Now we recently had the experience of a cyclone and you don't think about it until it's too late. But when the cyclone was coming, people were out of power. Lucky we, we, we were good, we were good. We just, we just missed it, our area, but everyone around us, the whole neighborhood was blocked out. And when it comes to fridges and all this kind of manic stuff, you're gonna need some protection. So boom, shakalaka, look at this right here. It is the box. We're gonna unbox it together and see what's inside. So first up, this I guess is gonna be the charger. So it is a battery and it can be charged by the sun or you can just plug it in. Now we got the manual gonna be reading through that and putting this guy through its paces. But I wanna know how big and how heavy the station's gonna be because the box isn't that big. Oh, that is nice. That is, you know, that is all right. It's got a look at that. 768 watt hours and it give you a thousand watts. So a thousand watts, you can power a fridge and then something, it works out. Now the good thing about this battery that it was inside, it's not a lithium iron battery, it's a lithium iron phosphate battery, which is a lot, lot safer. One, and it's got a high number of cycles. So that means you don't need to worry about constantly having to recharge it and all that kind of stuff. It's gonna last and it's also back to buy warranty. But I wanna know is, does it come charge or you have to charge it up? Do you get free electricity? You know, the electricity prices are going up. So if it comes with a bit of electricity, thank you. Look at that, 55% charging is running right now. There's a fan and the fan, that's it, nothing's used. It looks, I've got to say, it looks beautiful. The LCD display is gorgeous. You choose if you want DC or if you want AC power, AC will be these plugs here, DC will be these USB ports. So you get USB-C 100 watts, USB-A 12 watts, USB-A, USB-C. So this is awesome. It tells you the amount of wattage that's going inside your devices. So I'm gonna start slow and build it up. All right, we've got USB-C cable. This one goes up to 100 watts of power. Gonna plug it in right here. And I've got my E-pad, the M4 E-pad, and it's 36, 38% battery. Plugged it right in. Press, I tap these, or turn it on first. Boom. Bit of fans to cool it all down and then press DC and it should start charging. We can see right there, it is charging away and you've got nice statistics on the screen and we're outputting 24 watts. Boom, straight to this port, works flawlessly. All right, next up, we're gonna see this bad boy, how much watts we can throw into our M4 Max MacBook Pro. As you can see, we're doing some serious GPU inferencing right there. We're using 105 gigabytes of memory slash CC if it can give enough juice into this system. It is connected, let's turn her on, boom. And now let's make sure that the AC power is ready. And AC is now on. So you can see when the Mac isn't doing much processing, we're getting about 50 watts of energy, 60 watts of energy being used because it's not doing any processing, but very soon we're gonna do another inference cycle. There you go, it's started up already. So we're gonna be maxing out the GPU and boom, it's pulling 165 watts. There's no fan noise whatsoever coming out of the system. It is completely cooled. So we're pulling 165 watts right now of power and it's very, very cool, quiet. I can't hear it. Yeah, I can't, I can't hear it. So that is good. That is good. It can shoot up to a thousand watts. So you can have maybe eight of these Macs plugged in, doing some LLM, AI taking the future, battery powered, AI is coming for you. The good thing about this system is that it can work as a UPS and it does give pure sine wave output. So it's very friendly for your computerized systems. systems. So. What we're gonna be doing, we're gonna try out the UPS functionality. It's meant to have a 20 millisecond turnaround. Will we notice it? Probably won't. So we're gonna plug this guy into power and that means it's gonna be charging the battery and doing excess output through the Mac. So this is just gonna be a UPS device in the middle. So you can see right there, we're charging this guy up. We're using 500 watts of power. So it's charging up the battery. As you can see, it looks charging up the battery, but it's also sending out output onto our Mac. So it's now running as a complete pass-through. Now the test I wanna see is how does it work as a UPS? Hmm, so this Mac, usually when the power gets turned off, you hear that Doom! sound. Did you hear that? So when new power is plugged in, you hear that Doom! 
sound. So we're gonna see if when I disconnect it, if the UPS changeover, you'll notice it at all. So three, two, one. Look at that. Nothing. It's as if nothing happened at all. So it's complete UPS pass through, switched everything up straight away, went from AC power directly from the wall into AC power from the battery itself. So that is that is awesome. Now I did hear the fans ramp up when it is charging the battery. You're gonna hear a little bit of fans. Nowhere near as noisy as some of the UPS devices I've used before. And I guess once the battery is charged up, you won't hear the fans anymore. Now for this test, it's gonna be fun. I've always wanted to know what would happen. This guy should only be able to output a thousand watts and this electronic vehicle takes around 2000 watts when it is being charged up. So what will happen? So step one, the charger is plugged in and there's nothing happening there. I turn it on, I think, all right, that's not gonna work. It's, it's detected that it's not enough power. So I've got to say that is really good. It didn't, nothing, nothing bad happened it was smart enough to tell the, the charger not to charge the car. I don't know whose side it's on, what's what, but it communicated well enough for the charger to know that it couldn't output enough watts to charge this beast. So that makes me feel a lot more confident with the safety with charging one of these systems. I've got to say, maybe next up we'll get an even bigger power supply and see how that does. Always wanted to get a backup battery for my car. You know, range anxiety. Just so you run out, run out of juice. You would have to push it, push it. Now you also get an app. You can connect directly to your power unit, and it even works directly over Bluetooth. You can run it in offline mode, and you can see there's a percentage right there. You can monitor and watch all of the settings. And uh, there's one more thing actually. I've been reading the manual, and it says it can pull up to two. 1000 watts in a power mode. Now the power mode you can enable it by holding the AC and DC down when everything is off. And you can also just enable it in the app. Look at that settings, power lifting mode. It's on, it's on. So you can see right there, we've got 55% battery. We've got AC turned on, turn it off remotely. Boom, hear that click, turned it off. And you can even go into settings and there's a power lifting mode, it says, in the manual powerlifting you can go up to 2000 watts probably not re recommended for long-term use but it's there in emergency and you can also check out the eco settings so by default you got ac eco and dc eco and they limit the power to 5 watts there and 10 watts there if you have them enabled and you can have auto sleep functions it tells you when the grid is on it tells you when the solar panel is charging it. So you get all of the information right there at your fingertips. All right, so what do you guys think of the Blue Eti AC70 power station? I've got to say it is super easy to use, plug and play. It feels solid. It's very, very safe with the LiPo technology. And it's got an even smart app directly connects offline mode, all that kind of good stuff. You can just see a live drawer of what's going on and be sure to check out our next videos because we're going to be putting the extra keyboards to the test. We're going to be charging up our car battery and we're going to be plugging in solar panels and seeing how off grid this bad boy can go. So let me know what power stations you guys are using out there in the world. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show.